Hello, I'm Brian Waller, President of the Technology Association of Iowa, and welcome to the online version of the Business Records Tech Brew AM, uh, where we profile technology professionals in Iowa and get to know them a little bit. With me today is Dave Tucker from Workiva. Dave, how are you? Good. It's good to see you, Brian. Uh, this is how we start things off, hometown and high school. Uh, I graduated from Peyton Chardin High School, uh, Chardin, Iowa. Uh, it's west central Iowa, just north of Jefferson. Well, very good. Uh, so we'll start high level. What the heck is Workiva in layman's terms? Uh, Workiva is a cloud-based software company located in Ames. Uh, we started in 2008, initially focused on helping companies prepare their SEC filings, like their 10Ks and 10Qs. And we've since grown into a number of other areas things like corporate performance management, Sarbanes-Oxley, um, a lot of other reporting and, and financial management solutions. So you're a uh, senior vice president of product development. Uh, what does a guy in that role do? What are you responsible for? Um, primarily, I'm responsible for um, managing our R&D organization, so engineering, architecture, quality, and our infrastructure delivery management groups. Um, so primarily managing those groups of, of, of people. Workiva is a young company. 2008 is when it started. Um, talk about when it started in its inception. Were you part of that initial team? Um, I started uh, just a few months after the company was formed. There was literally a handful of us sitting around a table trying to figure out how to build cloud-based software and financial solutions. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, that was a really fun time in the company. Why did you pick Ames? You guys are a global technology company now, nationally recognized. You chose Ames in Central Iowa. Why is that? Um, I graduated from Iowa State, and like most people in software, I wanted to spend some time in Silicon Valley. So I went out to Silicon Valley for about 10 years with Hewlett Packard and another startup. But Ames ultimately was just where we wanted to raise our family, so we moved back to Ames in 1997 and been there ever since and, uh, and loved the town and loved living there. At the time we're recording this, uh, there was a big cyber attack globally. Um, can you talk about how you guys handle cybersecurity and what part of uh, your world that is? Well, obviously being a, uh, a financial company in the cloud, uh, security is a large part of what we do. We have complete teams of people dedicated to monitoring, um, testing, and and just making sure that we have the most secure solution possible. So you're a tech guy. What were you interested in as a kid to get into this field? Uh, actually, as a kid, I was really interested in uh, engineering. I grew up on a farm. I always thought I would be a mechanical engineer and design farm machinery. and. Uh, then my dad bought an Apple II computer, mm -hmm. and I started writing software, and it was kind of all over from there. I knew that's what I wanted to do. All right. Were there teachers that inspired you? You had mentors early on that kind of led you here? Surprisingly, I think the teacher that inspired me most was my high school English teacher, mm -hmm. of all things. Mm -hmm. um, he's one who just had a unique way of challenging me and, and uh, um, getting to really pay attention to how I write and, and talk. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Um, Give advice to 18-year-old Dave Tucker as he's driving to college. I would say uh, <clears throat> don't worry so much about just getting good grades, but find things that really interest you. Don't worry about taking a class that you might not get a good grade in. Do what things that you're passionate about, things that really interest you. And I think things will fall into place regardless of your grade point. Very good. Ready for the lightning round fun questions? All right, let's go. All right, you, we, we do vinyl record selection. You picked Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run. Why? Um, that was one of the songs, a big hit when I was in college. You know, when I was driving to college, I'm sure that was probably what was playing on the radio, and it's just one that's always stuck in my mind. I've always liked Springsteen. Nice. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Uh, favorite curse word? <laughs> no, we're on camera. All right, we'll skip that one. Uh, favorite caffeinated beverage? Uh, Starbucks Pike Place Roast. All right, you're out of town. Crash at a friend's house or stay at a hotel? Uh, friend's house. I, I would always choose to stay with somebody if I could. Your favorite word? Uh, grit. Uh, your least favorite word? Uh, apathy. Um, what profession other than yours would you love to try? I think journalism. Like I said, from my high school as a teacher, I've always enjoyed writing, and uh, I just think that would be kind of a cool profession. All right, last question. If heaven exists, Dave Tucker, 
What would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Um, maybe just, nice job, Dave. Well, Dave, nice job. Thanks, Brian. Thanks to the business record. We'll see you soon.